Hello, everyone. Monet and I will be in Los Angeles, California on my 5th at Cinco de Mayo at the Netflix Dark Festival. Oh, girl, Bob, I'm going to be so, I'm going to get away. I'm, I'm going to be just drinking mar- one margarita. I'll be shaking my ass. I'll be drinking two. You do it after work? Would it, would, it, would it kill you? No. Okay. This is, you don't tell me how to be, I can choose how I get to behave at work. You don't tell me how to behave at work. I do what I want at work. Okay. So you be sober if you want to. I'm going to be drunk. A little yeah, wasted. That, that scans for you. That <laughs> scans for you, honey. So we'll see you all. Come see me and my 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 professional co-worker on May 5th. <laughs> you can go to see the drag queen.com. Professional. Hello, Bob the Drag Queen. How are you? I'm good. I don't want this cord in the shot. You wanted those eight suitcases that I just saw you move? Those those were intentional, but the cord is too much. Okay. <laughs> you know, if you can laugh at your own jokes, you don't need an audience, right, Monet? Then you must you must truly be the architect of that because girl, we all know. Don't nobody to laugh at a Bob the Drag Queen joke, but Bob the Drag Queen. Yes, sure. If you do it, I've done it. <laughs> Whatever you do, I did it before you. I uh, was the architect I, of your I, life. What's, what's I hold the blueprints um, for Monet. I'm big, you're small, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm smart, you're dumb. And there's nothing I'm first you can do for about second, it. honey. <laughs> right out your beta. <laughs> no, but you's a gamma, honey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to honey. episode three of RuPaul's Drag Race season sixteen. I have to say, no. Bob, I really, I am really enjoying this season. i I think this is a great season, of Drag Race. I feel that like this might be one of those like. See, bring like, it back seasons yeah this season is better than the promo the promo did not let us know that it would be this good i agree in my opinion um and i'm already sad i did not when i found out i mean spoiler alert, obviously if you're here you're a spoiler i didn't want geneva and hershey in the bottom but i liked them both so much yeah. i didn't want either one of them to be in the bottom that being said and i didn't want one deserved it anyone. and one didn't and I'm curious to see if we, and we, we will get to those opinions pretty soon. So let's let's start with so oh, those in, opinions. In, I love those opinions. They're great. So when we walk back into the room, J- Jane is feeling good. Now I was not here last time, but can I just say out loud right now? Jane is not a good villain. Why is she not a good villain? She's not because what she's saying it doesn't have a particular point of view, and I don't even think she believes what she's saying. Like for example, she was like. She was like, I'm going to rate the girls who are the best in the last. And then when she put Nymphia in the end, she was like, it just wasn't giving what I wanted. Wait, so does that mean that Nymphia was the best? Or does that mean that she wasn't giving what you wanted? Like, which one is it? I think like, she was just saying like, that to, like, trick, like, to kind of, like, play mind games with even us at home. Because, I mean, she said her intention. She was my intention. And we all know that Nymphia was really good. So I think she's just saying that to, like, justify it because she said that's why she's going to do it. But I, but it just doesn't. But it, it doesn't make for a good villain because I don't think that yeah, I don't I think she believes all. I don't think she believes all the stuff she's saying. When she's like acting like everyone's hideous and yada yada yada. Like I don't believe any of these things. And on, and on top of that, her shade isn't particularly funny. Like she's not funny in that regard. Some of them, like all of her Megami shade last episode, was great. What are you talking about? I mean, in my opinion, like protect bad drag was pre. But like for example. When you have Bianca Del Rio, someone who's just giving zinger after banger after zinger after ba- like they're all good. Each one is funny. Mm-hmm. Whereas I feel like playing Jane just saying like a bunch of shady stuff and not all of it is terribly funny and she doesn't even believe it. So when you have a villain like Gia Gunn, Gia Gunn believes what she's saying. Like when Gia Gunn calls you a bunch of dudes, she believes it. It's real to her. And when Bianca is making fun of you, not only does she believe when it, you, when, but it's also... When, when you feel a piece of hair on your face and you can't find it, that I think that is one of the... Girl. Things, I, it, it always creeps up. People be like... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Then, but, 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 big ass figures, like... <laughs> I know, it's so... And it's like, how? I have wiped my whole forehead. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, anyway... Good. But someone like Gia believes it. Someone like Jeremy believes it. Someone like Bianca believes it. And I just feel like Jane is just saying stuff for the sake of sounding mean. 
I there is this there's this clip circ- circulating around circulating around. Oh my god, this is, there's a clip circulating of Jeremy M go, in the angel costume. I think that's for the bitch yeah. ball. Oh my yeah. god, a- and it's just it was just such good TV. Jeremy was just so passionate and so good. It's one of my it's one of my favorite clips of Drag Race. Oh no, it, it is very I remember in the, being in the bar gagging over that whole moment. All right, Jacob was pulling something up. It is a clip from Magami that says the worst thing about being on drag race. Oh, I I saw this. We'll get we'll get to that, Jacob. We'll, actually we can talk about it now. So Magami said the worst thing about being on drag race is uh I can't watch Sylvan Washery this season because that one queen is one of my idols. And the reason I started doing drag after I saw her like 10 years ago performing at a hardware bar, and I don't want to know if she hates my drag. Um well, on this episode, of Megami, I do not. Neither, and I didn't hate it on episode one either. Now, playing Jane hated it. <laughs> I mean, episode two, well, two. Episode two, yeah, your first episode, should I say? I can't remember which one she was on. I mean, playing Jane hated it, but I did not hate it. So, so far, so good. You I will liked, probably not. Like you it. liked the 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 eye reveal thing? You thought that was fierce? I didn't hate it. Like I don't. She said that. I, did she hate my drag? I, I didn't hate it. So you thought? I thought it was. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of clever. I mean, we've seen it before. Obviously, we saw it on Pants Labyrinth. Um, and we've even seen it on Drag Race before, but I still like I still uh, Kati did I believe work, or someone did it. Some queen did the Pan's Labyrinth eye reveal. Um, yes, uh, then also I just what's her name? Um, Plasma. When you when you, on Drag Race, it always really makes me like aware of body stuff because and it's just so small. But if it, it because Plasma, I, I I don't know how to identify, but she's being perceived as i'm guessing male her titties are just out and like they're not centering her nipples but if it was like sasha colby or gia gun they would have blurred her, her nipples and it just little things like that they're really making me aware of this of our, of our society i want us to do better as a people that's how you know when you're serving like when when they blurred valentina's nipple i was like <laughs> i mean she's serving you're giving you're giving the feminine a cunt to the feminine a what oh this is what i want to say Bob. This is what I want to blur. And I went all the, um, all the girls get together. I'm realizing that this is another big, heavy, hefty New York City season. There's like five, there are five New York City girls. The last time we've seen that many New York City girls was season number 10. And also, uh, it feels weird that episode one girls had to pack an extra outfit and get in drag an extra time. I'd be like, I'm annoyed. <laughs> that is, I'm that annoyed. Is, I, I, I hear that. I see that. Um, What I've got, Megami is... Something out of drag. I'm dying. Oh, Dawn oh, says the ER of drag. Yeah. <laughs> so is that Megami is the ER of drag? The ER is like, oh, mm, that's the sad one, right? Or poor me. Okay, that's yeah. ER. Yeah. Ooh. And um, I feel like we had. I feel like we used to have an ER back in the day in New York City. It was always sad. I'm sure we did. Right. We just can't, I can't remember off my head who it was. I'm sure we did. Um. That's what I wrote here. Do you think Plain Jane thinks that she's? Do you think Plain Jane is funny? Um, certain bits. I think that I think Hamagami stuff last episode is funny. Like, certain, yes, yes. I, the short answer to quote you is yes. Do I think she's like Bianca Del Rio levels funny? No, with her shade, but they are some of her jokes and reads make me laugh. Um. Also, Morphine knows literally everyone. <laughs> morphine. Morphine is drag sisters with Plain Jane. And Morphine knows Maya, uh, Maya mm-hmm. from... So Morphine has a connection to every drag queen in the workroom. Apparently, Her and RuPaul went to high school together. Her and Plain Jane have a drag mom. It's like, okay, Morphine. She knows everybody. And we're going to see this more later and more later in um, Untucked Whatever. But off the top, Plain Jane makes a comment on Amanda's drag. Like, uh, which, I mean, she, she is not exempt, right? Bitch, RuPaul, we're, we're going to get there too, but... Everyone is coming for Amanda, but just off the top, this like tension between the the episode is telling us that Plain Jane and this bitch are gonna have some some issues later. Well, coming for Plain Jane seems like a rite of passage at this point. Like part of what you do is you just make fun of Plain Jane, and then you force Plain Jane to go. I know, I'm hideous. You mean Amanda? Like Plain Jane, Amanda. Yeah, sorry. And Amanda doesn't even defend herself. She just goes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm ugly. My makeup's bad. I'm busted. I know, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, Jacob, that is teeny tiny. You're making it smaller. Who is this? Okay, so mandatory meeting said, 
No, because as shitty as it felt to have her come for me and ha- I have to keep my cool, feeling like my sisters had my back in that moment more made up for it. This is in Far and Tucked. Oh, I, we have, I haven't watched Tucked yet. By coming, who is this? Playing Jam. By coming for you, by coming for you, you mean voice the exact same opinion that all the people that you tagged were so comfortable sharing in their confessionals? Okay, girl, you know the name of the game. You know this is TV. I don't get why you're trying to play the victim as if you didn't clap back. Like, clapping back does not equate coming yeah, for someone. Yeah, she fully attacked her. Like, bitch. Yeah. Anyway. That's um, like saying, oh, you're like, like, I slapped you and you slapped me right back. So, it's like, oh, yeah, but you slapped me first, bitch. So, like, what's really good? Um, so, for, I don't know why it really cracked me up. Is because she's a little annoying sometimes. Once if you're called uh, uh, um, that little girl, Plasma Strawberry Shortcake, it really cracked me up. And it's not really a really funny joke. It just it just felt very satisfying to me as a fan of Dragon. You think Plasma's annoying or Sephira's annoying? Plasma. Did you Plasma. see the episode with Derek Barry, Bob? I've not watched it yet. Plasma is Monet's Blair St. Clair. No. Oh, do you, are you? <laughs> I do you don't. Hate, <laughs> why do you hate Plasma? She just does and says really shady, really annoying things to me. Like saying that, remember last episode when she was like, um, um, my type of, I forget, her performance is like not, um, not every average drag queen can understand. I'm like, bitch, the fuck? Who do you, who do you think you are? I just found this clip that I need to send you because that shit sent me through the roof. Uh, I, I, so I want to point out that now they, they bring back, um, first of all, this shade everyone's throwing back and forth, it doesn't feel fierce. It feels like bargain basement, lame ass, not good. The observations aren't good. The reads aren't good. This is pretty much pretty much across the board. And not every single one, but like this, the shade in this episode is so forced, is so TV, is so... Let me like like when like when when um when Plain Jane walks over to Geneva and is like, "Are you worried <laughs> about your costume?" I'm like, "Girl, what? Go fucking do your fucking." I would have been like, "Bitch, go fucking do your fucking makeup. Get your fucking lame ass the fuck away from me." <laughs> like, I just don't think that this shade in this episode. It's just it. Everyone's trying so hard to get a foothold on the TV they want to be they want camera time and it's hard to fight for camera time with what 13 girls 14 14 girls mm-hmm. um that they are just like they want it they just want to be seen so badly which I understand I love being seen but it's lame and it's not like y'all aren't eating you know um I think for me I mean do, again do I think they're the clever the cleverest cuntiest reads ever no but I mean, I've also every time when, when when I've been in dressing rooms with other girls on tour, every joke isn't a knee slap funny joke, but it's more just the energy and the vibe of everyone just kind of like kicking. Even though like only one or two people have really shady or funny reads, everyone else is kind of just like, okay, you did it, girl. But we're just all having a good time. That's what I'm taking it as. I agree with you, but but I feel like in the dressing room we're not trying this hard. Like in the dressing room, we're not like running across. Like it's not this. this it's just. It's just they're really trying, for in my humble opinion. Um, I love the campiness of this Infinity Potion thing. I'm here for the camp of it. I love that it looks like the fucking thing from Death Becomes Her. I love all the extraness of, of, of the Infinity Potion. I hope that when the girl takes it, I know they're going to make her go to go to that little room with the lipsticks and and, and drink. I, I, I'm really here for the camp. I really love how the, uh, how, I think it was Morphine who said it. RuPaul goes, now a warning. And she goes, now a warning? <laughs> that was like, I mean, obviously that's a line from um from Death Becomes Her. But like the fact that she thought to say it that quickly was just so funny to me. Now a warning. Now a warning? That's, also, that is, the, in my opinion, the best line from Death Becomes Her. Oh, yeah, she, for sure. When Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep drinks the potion. And then it ro- Isabella Rosalina goes, now a warning. That is just brilliant TV. Um, I... I'm obsessed with Morphine's brows because she like she may have a little something on, but she's not like done up like in her confessionals. But her brows are done, so Morphine is just walking around, pretty much plain face. It just and that shit. You remember when? Do you remember when Aquaria used to do that? Who? Aquaria. You remember Aquaria? Like during her season, Aquaria used to draw. (laughs) But not on the show. Out of drag, Aquaria would just wake up in the morning and draw on full on drag brows. (laughs) Like, imagine me. You know how my eyebrow, my eyebrow goes literally out to here. Imagine me just walking around and being like, hey, y'all. 
found her. So RuPaul um, comes in and we're finding out that it's a ball challenge, girl. It is the is the mother, mother of all balls. balls. Mm-hmm. Uh, first category is Mother Goose, nursery rhyme is, is, is mother is Mother Goose. Second is significant mother, and the last one is call me mother father, where they have to decorate a men. Well, sorry, deconstruct a menswear look to create their look. What mother? What nursery rhyme would you do? <sighs> mother Goose was the first one. Of the top of my head, but that's the name of the category. Um, so then I would have done, uh, I don't know, you think. I, I, I didn't think about this, what I would do. I, mean, I really just enjoy the silhouette and the color of Cinderella. I think that, that light blue looks really good. Um, I just but love that idea. Mother? It's just, no, it's, uh, no, Mother Goose is just a fairy tale, Monet. Oh, but th- I thought it had to be a mother of some kind. I thought it was just had to be fairy tale inspired. Which was kind of crazy. Okay. So when they do it, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the runways though. But this kind of this ties into that. When they were all walking on the runway, I was like, "Do I just not know some of these nursery rhymes, or did they make up? They were making them up, right? Or were, they, were those they're, all they're real? Honest, they're fairy tales, but they're all real ones, or or I think some of them were made up. I mean, we'll, I ain't never we'll, hear we'll, of one. Of, I said, "Girl, I I ain't never hear. I've never even heard of this story, or this is not a real story. You made this up. Which anyway. one did you never hear of?" Let me get to it. I'll, I'll, I'll call it out. But I remember being like, like four of them. I was like, this is not a real person. So we find out who can't sell. Maya and Mon Page cannot sell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when they also, I don't want to make fun of this, but like the way that Q dropped her information about her grandma was so sudden. Yes, I agree. And the walkthrough with Rue, I was like, I was oh. Like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, I agree. Rue. I agree. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, I'm not, again, I'm not laughing at her, but I agree. It it, it was so jarring. It's like when someone goes like, happy Mother's Day, and one person goes, my mom's dead. And you're like. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. It was, it was very. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. Uh, RuPaul was like, aren't you happy to have had that time with your grandma? We don't talk. I, yeah, the whole situation was very that. I was like, okay. But then, yeah. Um. I love also that we're getting like some vibes, like because there are a lot of a, a, there are a lot of seamstresses here. A lot of girls do so here, though, which I like. Speaking of seamstresses, Nymphia loves bananas. Like, like, like she's I, a banana queen. I, we have an elephant queen. We have a banana queen. Do, do we have any other kind of like animal object queens? I mean, it's, but see, you 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 didn't show up as a sponge queen. Eureka <laughs> showed up as an elephant queen, and Nymphia showed up as a banana queen. Why is she like, an elephant queen? Because she's a large lady? Because she's large, yeah. And elephants okay. are large. And she elephants are large and beautiful, and she's large and beautiful. I was like, because she's definitely hearing some more. You said, because what? She can't, what? What'd you say? I said, because she definitely ain't smart. Because elephants are really smart. <laughs> well, elephants are known for their memories, not for memories. Their, yeah, because bitch can't remember shit. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, I, I, I also that morphine is actually pretty decent at shade. Morphine is morphine shade is good because she's not doing so much of it. It's not constant shade. So when she goes, I see my, I've given her a dollar. That was very funny. That was you know what I mean? Funny. And then, but, but then Maya let us Maya lets us know that bitch morphine will be out in these in, in these in, in these streets like that. She's a scene queen. Yeah, I was like, ooh, a little of Miami. Um, hate. RuPaul ate Amanda up. Amanda, you look pretty without that makeup. I'm. Screaming. I wrote, damn, even Rue is jumping Amanda with this makeup shade. I was like, Jesus. Like, do you think, like, after, after like, the runways got done, all the judges went back, they were like, girl, did you, I mean, I, I know we've had some bad, like, I feel like they were all at the water cooler, like, girl, I mean. I mean, to be fair, we were doing it on this show. They were doing <laughs> it in Untucked, and they were doing it on the judges panel. So I think across the world, we've all were like, Jesus Christ. But my grandma um, text me about it. Oh, that grandma. Even Jesus Christ is like me. Um, so we RuPaul announced that there will be another Raider Queen, and that she has the results from the last Raider Queen in her hand, and she just leaves them on the chaise for the girls to grab for themselves. Um, and and Plain Jane is worried that they're going to have the specifics each individual girl's rankings, which I wish I wish would have to. But all but you bitch, you're leaving out a very big important part here that their Raider Queens are going to dictate the top and bottom placements for this episode, which is giving the girls, the Queens, a lot of power, which honestly, I am all about. I love this. I wish, I don't think this is going to go on past this episode, but I love the Queens dictating top and bottom. I love it. 
And she said that uh, it's going to be before the judging. So you don't get to have, you, you don't get to be like, I'm going off what the judges said, because yeah. a lot of, a lot of people like to do that. They go, we're just being fair, going off what the judges say. Mm-hmm. No, you have to give your real opinion, bitch. You have to, you have to, yeah. to be real, got to be, be to be real. Got to be real. I um, like you said I sing a lot on this podcast. I, w- I think that if we really did a thing, you sing probably, if not as much as me, just a little bit more than me. Bob, you sing a I lot. Can emphatic, I can emphatically say that's not true. Bob, you sing a lot. With, I do sing a lot, but I can say with emphasis, with certainty that you sing more than I do. Bitch, your heart um, is so big. It must be nice. Okay. Uh, honey, this is just one wing, honey. Don't forget <laughs> the sex little baby. Oh, yeah. wow. You, look, Bob, will, Bob will flaunt his wealth. A new cut, Bob a new will... color, a new do, a new style. <laughs> That's one of my favorite videos on the internet, too. Oh, a new oh, color, a new cut, a new t- <laughs> I the love same her. Wig she's been wearing past weeks. <laughs> um, Megami, she has this moment to the camera. I'm like, how is Megami gagged? Oh, because well, because the, the queens are now telling, we're, we're finding out, the, the queens are finding out how they ranked. And I don't understand how Megami doesn't understand how she was, that she had a low placement. I'm like, do you think, like you were a top performance last week. Yeah, she, well, she, she. I think she didn't think she was the bottom performance of the week, and I. I don't think that her performance was particularly great. Uh, and I probably would have ranked her the same. I would have too. I will too. But, um. So let's, or similarly, maybe not dead last, but but the. the I think that the performance w- was a little wanting. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're longing for so it. we get back in the workroom the next day, and her she has decided to start over. She's not doing the sock thing anymore. She wants to try a new look, a new cut, a new. Yeah, because Ruru, because she was gonna stitch a whole bunch of those like uh, argyle socks together. Which honestly, yeah. I think I think Ruru scared her. If she had enough, I think that that could have looked cool if it was styled and make it a, a whole like gr- uh, uh, schoolgirl thing. I think that could have looked du- that could have looked cool. I'm, I'm mad that she was scared out of it. It could have. You're right. It could have. Um, but she. But we. But we will never know because you know. To quote Kanye West, I guess we'll never know. Um, Wait, sorry. It's a little tangent. Have you seen Kanye West and his new wife? No. Girl, she's always out here, like in in like walking in malls, in the streets, barefoot. He has her like walking around in like just like these like tiny bras, or just like kind of cover her nipples. It is so bizarre. Anyway. Uh, she did a look where she wasn't wearing a top. She was just holding a pillow over her chest. Yeah, it's kind of wild. I'm like, what is going on, girl? I don't know. You know what? You know, uh, you know, uh, Kanye likes to dress his girlfriends like Barbie he, dolls. He uh, fully. He did it for Kim for Mad Long. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, also, Plain Jane comes over and is harassing Geneva for no reason, and it's not even clever or funny or good. Like, go away. Uh, what do you think of the of the um, of the Nymphia Spanish uh, of the of the Spanish Mr. Nymphia Vinny. pipeline? It was very funny. It, it, I was like, I was like, this could get problematic real quick, depending on what they tell this girl in a second. She don't know what the hell she's saying. Yeah, yeah, but it was cute. It was cute. It, I, I didn't think it was very very funny, and um, I like Nymphia. Nymphia's real. Oh, she's, I, she's someone who I find very charming in the workroom. So I like the cute. way. That she, yeah, Nymphia's cute. Yeah, I like her. Uh, I like her workroom energy. It's not too much. Like she's Quite not hardy. doing, she's not doing too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, I, I disagree with Bob a little bit. I do like the energy in the workroom. I feel like these queens are just having fun. It's their first time all being together, and like, I'm, I'm like harkening back to like my first season of Drag Race and having like, and I remember like those the, those workroom. When I was working on my sponge dress next to Vanjie, throwing them fucking flowers on that thing. And I was like, girl, that's ugly. So like I do I, I I do like the energy of the first day all together and I'm but I'm but but Vanjie's outfit was ugly. I know, but I'm saying, but just the energy of all that, it was just fun to be there. I remember that. Um, you think it was fun for Vanjie? <laughs> she had a fun up until up until the, 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 the You think Vanjie had fun? Um, so let let's so let's go let's go on to the okay. Are, do we are we gonna speed this or are we gonna give each of these a detail a deep detail? I don't think detail. Uh, we can't afford detail. We, we we can't afford detail. We can like you know 
but I don't think it should be boot. Yes, no, yes, no. I think we can say like one line. Let, let, let's we we can we can like and one line. If we give each look one minute, that's still going to be forty two minutes. <laughs> Damn. Well, we don't need forty. We don't, Jacob, we're not saying we want to give each look a minute. All right, let's see. But that means are we going to give some looks five minutes? Some of them deserve five minutes. Well, let's get started. Well, let me just say out loud right now that um, that uh, I've never seen Michelle. I haven't seen Michelle in a look this like camp in a while because she's been on her all black kind of like conservative, not conservative, like more <laughs> sleek and refined looks. Yeah. But now this is like fierce, and RuPaul showing some legs, and Isaac Mizrahi's here, and I just always think that Carson looks great. I just always. really think Carson. Have you seen? Have you seen? Um, what does RuPaul's dress remind you of? Anything or someone's uh, outfit? Uh, are you Are you gonna say yours? No. <laughs> oh, no. It looks a little like George. Remember George's ball look that everyone was like, "That is the ugliest thing ever," and she ended up winning. It looks. It's similar to George's look. Oh, Not maybe the same, good. but similar. I think well, Michelle looks amazing. Michelle looks. I always get Michelle's thigh tattoos. Um, Michelle looks so cute. I love this look on her. Um, so let's go on. So let's go on to Geneva Carr, who is being Miss Muffet. You know Miss Muffet, right? Yeah, um, she she sat on the Tuffet, right? Eating her curds and ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what's whey? Like whey? Like Miss Miss Muffet is even whey protein? I you know I actually don't know. I think it's like what? oats or something. Oh, it's like uh yeah. I said is 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 Miss Muffet out here bulking? Maybe, yeah, maybe Miss Muffet's uh, about to go to uh, Barry's boot camp right after she uh, sits on her tuffet. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is um, not a good look. I think that yeah. I like the idea of this. I do like, I kind of like the dress part of it. I think it's, uh, the hat is what's throwing, if the hat and the hair, I don't know. But I kind of well, The hat is what makes her Miss Muffet. The oh. bonnet is what makes her Miss Muffet. Got it. Yeah, I didn't hate this right. like, like the judges did. I thought this was okay. So mother, her mother look is um, burn it. No, wait, am I? Sp- she's Sel- she was see Selma Hayek. Oh, Selma Hayek. Okay, um, no, you know I got to be honest. This look wasn't even that great on Selma Hayek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it kind of looks like she's wearing a net that some things got caught in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just this is this is Selma High. Like, this is such a weird direction to go. Like, why of all the Selma High looks, you're like this one? Interesting. Yeah, I can see why she's ending up in the bottom. Um, and then we have her uh, her mother father look, which is made of, which is a women's wear made of men's wear, and she looks like a flight attendant, um, but but like on spirit. Damn, I like this. I when she when she came across the thing, I was like. Oh wow! I like the colors. I think her. I loved her hair and her makeup, and the, I like the dress. Yes, it was riding up at the back, but us big booty bitches, it be happening sometimes. Sometimes I don't be intended for my outfit to be rise up my ass, but it do. Well, you got the, you, so you have to you have to be you have to be careful with that. You know what I mean? You have to just take note of that. Well, God, God made me this way, and I'm not gonna change for nobody. Let's go on to Dawn, who is who who is in her elf bag always okay cushy cow is this a real is this a theory this is something she made up i mean i can google it i'm sure i just got cushy cow cushy cow is mama's list of what wor- wor- yeah it's, it's a thing cushy cow what cushy cow yeah cushy cow bonnet let let down thy milk and i will give thee a gallon of silk a gallon of silk and a silver tree, a silver tea. If thou wilt let down thy milk for me, because she cow's a real thing. The issue is she doesn't look like a cow. She looks like a goat. I had a, I agree. I was saying I didn't know what was off. That makes sense. Yeah, she looks like a goat. Is because it as, cows, is the gold things have the horns, ears, right? And cows' ears are higher. Cows' ears are they that low? They're like they're more here. I think goat I ears are the this ones that are like. Tea. Yeah, cow's like, ears point up. Cow's yeah, goat's ears, ears point slightly, like out, like kind of like this. And goat's ears are kind of like that. Yeah. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the flow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, I like it is cute though. Yeah, and she made this. She made all three of her looks. Um, and I think that this is she looks good, but I think that's it wasn't giving cow. That's what was throwing me off. Thank you for that. 
Is her Audrey Hepburn supposed to be grayscale? Oh, I guess. No, I think she's just that pale. I think this. I think this is a this is a pale lady, and all you can see is just the the paleness of her of her body. Interesting. I love this look though. It looks really cute. I don't understand why the thing on her head though. You know, I don't have an answer for that. Maybe it's to represent that little that little tiara that uh, Audrey Hepburn is wearing. The tiara is a, a roll. It's a, it, I hated. I thought it was a roll of toilet paper, and then I was like. Is it because then Ruth said, "Oh, is, this is uh, lunch at whatever." I was like, "Oh, is there a joke I'm, I'm missing?" I don't understand why she had a roll of toilet paper on her head. I don't know, to be honest. And then she had the, uh, the white coming down the thing because I know the breakfast of Tiffany look. I was like, "So is are she saying she was like TP'd?" I was confused, but anyway, it's camp. Got it. And the one that she made here, I think this looks great. I love this. I'm not a fan of the things she wrapped around her head. That's the only thing. Again, s- s- shit on her head. But I love these boots. I love this. What a shit on her head. Well, I'm saying again, like I'm talking the first the toilet paper. You want to shit on Dawn's head? I mean, I would. She's hot. Um, and um, I love the duster that she made. I think this looks really cool. And I just, I just don't understand why she wrapped that thing on her head. Um, let's go on to Hershey liqueur. Um, she so Bernie B. She, she, I mean, I'm, I'm, Bernie I'm, B. Another one made up. I don't. I don't want. I think just because you don't know them doesn't mean they're. they're, 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 they're I, I love that you're like they're lying. No, Bernie B is an, an animated, animated nursery, nursery rhyme. rhyme. Oh my god! Yeah. Can, can y'all can y'all comment below if y'all have ever heard of Cushy Cow and Bernie B? Well, at least two people have. You know. <laughs> This episode is supported by FX's Feud, honey. Capote versus the Swans. From creator Ryan Murphy, starring Naomi Watts, Demi Moore, and Tom Hollander. The series follows acclaimed writer Truman Capote, who surrounded himself with some of society's most elite women, whom he nicknamed the Swans. But his acts of betrayal destroyed those relationships, banished him from high society, and sent him into a spiral of self-destruction. FX's Feud premieres January 31st on FX. Stream it on Hulu. Um, I I love this look. This look is great. I think this, I like this look too. I think it is a really great look. I think this is good. This is very strong. I think she looks dope. There's something going on with her makeup. Her. I, don't, I don't know what happened though. Who's mother for her? Mother Nature. Um, I, I will say that her 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 uh hair and makeup on Mother Nature. This I actually like this outfit. Yeah. Um, she's Mother Earth, Mother Nature. But the hair is not giving. I think the hair should have been something different. I, I can't describe what it is, but it just. I have think been if less. her hair was kind of like RuPaul's, looked like it was blown, like like with the wind, that could look that really could cool with this. Um, but I, yeah, I love this look. And when she was talking about, oh, I'm doing leg tech because it's hot and global warming, and I was like, oh, this is actually, I would absolutely fucking. And her body looks so good. Look at her body, bitch. I would have worn yeah. this look down. I love this look. And then her uh, mother father look. Uh, yeah. I was at the, the pants are quite pedestrian. For RuPaul's Drag Race, um, and everyone kept saying this was reminding them of me on the internet. I was kept being like, "What?" Because you had I, that black wig with that blonde stripe. Also, she uh, didn't yeah. make the pants, right? She yeah, she, they were just jeans. She just she just put some pockets on. I wore it for my Madonna for my Madonna look. I had but I, I, my Madonna wig did not look like this. I just want to say that out loud. You're right; it was worse. It was not my Madonna wig was really nice actually, and it was tricolor. The Madonna too- wig. My oh, Madonna that- wig. The one you wore for the challenge with the Girl Scout outfit. Yes, Bob, I hate that hair. Okay, and and I and I had a lot of hair. And we've already we've discussed your wigs on the show. We've discussed your wigs on the show. I was about to say you know you're not discussing nothing because you froze. You lucky you came back. Oh, that was that was gonna be so good. That was gonna taste so good. It would have tasted it. But good. you realize that's not frozen for the viewers. That's just for you. The view for the viewers is not frozen. But Jacob and I know, and that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, yeah so we. We've discussed your wigs on the show, honey. This is rotted. I think that this uh, she just put some jeans. She just glued some fabric to these inside these jeans, and this wig was a choice. The fact that she even put this, I mean, they, I think she she they could be, even when she was packing up. I was like, oh, why don't she wear that one with it instead? I think it, if the wig was different, it would have changed just a little bit because the top is cute. I just, I just don't. Um, I don't think that she did as poorly as Geneva. But let's look at the rest of the looks and we'll see who who we would have put in the bottom. Let's go on to Mirage, who, by the way, I love 
Mirage. My, my Mirage standing continues. I also love that interesting makeup that Mirage had on when she walked into the workroom, when, she, when they rejoined the girls. I, I mean, remember. just these big black eyes with a white around them. Um, she was Baba Black Sheep. And I, I think this, this, is a, this is a great look. And this look is really great. And Sheep's ears go down. She got the ears right. And then she also had the three bags full, which I was like, work, girl. She she really paid attention to to the details, which I can I really appreciate. I and mean, she, so she does look great. Um, her second look was um, La Lorona. Um, and I looked this up and I was like, oh, work. She, she, she looks great. Her body looks really good. I love the concept of this. The hair. She looks great. Let me look at La Llorona. She's she, like a Mother Mexican Cahira. ghost who, like, she found out her husband was cheating on her. And I think she, like, drowned her children. And now she, like, waits in the night by lakes and, like, cries for people to come. And then she kills them. That's kind of her deal. Jacob used to read yeah. me the story every night. Um, is she Mexican? She Mexican. Mirage or La Llorona? <laughs> is, Mar- is Mirage Mexican? Probably. Um, let's go into her mother father look. This look turned out great. Oh, uh, amazing. This looks so good. Bitch, I would wear this. The deconstructed of the 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 uh, what do you call it? The ruk- the rupakak palactic. Uh, of it all i think she looks great and she's so fucking tall tall bitches can get away like tall skinny bitches can get away with putting on a and be like oh yes monet yes you better work because you're just she looks amazing i love this outfit yeah this is a good look i'm really into this look i think mirage did a really good job she better work let's go on to magami her first look is lobo peep monet you know lobo peep I do know a little Bo Peep, and I think this is good. I think this is creative. I, I think I like it. Only thing is the little blush circle she did, it looks like her and Mirage got in a fight. It looked like Mirage and her got beat up. That's why she has it. That's the only thing that was weird for me. I think Mirage is intentionally looking like that. I know, but I don't think Megami's looking, she's not supposed to look like she got in a fight. No, but it's, it's supposed to be the circle, the circle I blood. get it, but it's not well done. It looks like she got punched, not the blush. Does it look like blush to you? Yeah. Work. Like, like, are you saying someone, someone will punch her like this? Like, like, what is it? I don't know. How, but she, she is a cartoon and, and, and nursery rhymes. They, 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 they took the symbols. Remember when, when bugs wouldn't be hitting them bitches and they go, nah, that's what it looks like happened to her. <laughs> um, let's go into her second look for her mother is Lady Gaga. Cute. This is a pretty good look. I don't, the skirt isn't really giving what Lady Gaga's skirt is giving. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a good look. But it is a good look, and she looks good. And um, yeah, Megami is doing a really good job this episode. She is, but she is like a like a like a costume girl. So she's cosplay. this is gonna be she's she is the cosplay queen of New York. Uh, Jeremy would like to have a word with you. Well, I don't think Jeremy identifies as the queen anymore. So I guess the 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 title is up for Megami to have. Yeah. Um, let's go on to her mother father look, which is like this like uh handyman. Rosie the Riveter style look, which I think is also good. She did a good job this whole episode. Yeah, she did a good job. Uh, just, I think this is, it looks well constructed. It looks good. And that little pink star from last episode is a uh, pink triangle is making a, a, a second debut. I think that when Megami has an opportunity to do costuming, she's going to shine. Yeah, she can clearly um, sell. Um, Amanda, Amanda, Tori, Amanda, punching bag, Tori meeting. Now this is made up. There is no, there is no fairytale character named Little Lil Pussy. But now, you, you, you have been uh, wrong every single time. Just so we're clear. Little there is, pussy. No, there is a little pussy. That is inappropriate. When they, only when you say it like that. Little pussy. Yes. Let's say how else. Little, little pussy. I like little pussy. Her coat is so warm, and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail nor drive her away. But pussy and I were very gently will play. <laughs> but you know, pussy is not Damn. always in reference to vaginas. I know, but we're watching it on RuPaul's Drag Race. All I hear, I'm like, imagine like, little pussy. How do I say it? Little 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 pussy. <laughs> no, that's not it either. That's not it either. Can I just say that her makeup looks pretty? I mean, the the the, the contouring is a little intense, but she looks good here. I do like her eye makeup. I like the shape of it. I think also she's doing. I mean, I mean, never mind. 
I I like this. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Which means never mind. No, because I don't think no, that's true. Because Dawn does very big. I was saying like her features are a little are close together, and she's making her eye makeup really big too. And I think there is a way to make that look really good. But like hair looks good. But I just think maybe she was a little small with her eyes. Oh, all balanced. I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. She uh she tweeted that after the uh the purple runway disaster, Safira came to her and was like, "You need to practice your makeup four more times before you're on camera." Aww. Not Safira mothering these hoes, mothering these hoes, honey. Um, let's go into her her uh, mother look. For her, Michelle Visage is mother. So that's really clever that she did this like two part Michelle moment. Um. But she just doesn't. This wig is Michelle would never wear her hair like this. Ah, uh, I mean, maybe, bitch, go back to Michelle used to do drag, girl. Used to, but her hair was not like this. Michelle, this is baby. This is not a good wig. Michelle, would, Michelle used to do some crazy stuff, but not her hair like this. I mean, I, I think it's a bad wig, but Michelle has had like very big curly hair like this, not style exactly like that. But she, Michelle, has done that a lot. Um, I think that uh. I don't I don't love this look as much as I loved her first one. Yeah. And her what she made in here. Imagine um, just has imagine just having some wig problems. Like Imagine what? Amanda's just having some wig problems, you know. Yeah, this one that she chose for the one that she designed there. I don't even understand what this is supposed to be really. Um It looks like a pencil skirt with like a a two top and a, a and a coat. Or like a camisole with sleeves, or uh, if you're looking at it this hard, I would have put Amanda in the bottom with Geneva. Wait, what did you think about her first look? We said, did you like her first look? I liked her first look, yeah, but two out of three is not good. Two, I mean, one out of three is not good. Yeah, yeah, this wasn't this was this was not great. Um, let's go on to Morphine, who is a man and maid. Sure. Monet's mad about it now. Monet's mad that she never heard any of these Monet said, whatever. I don't give a fuck no more. That being said, she looks hot. You know, Morphina, oh, you didn't watch it, but she reminds me of um, uh, the girl from Euphoria, Maddie. She gives me Maddie vibes. Maddie vibes I down. I think I she looks hot. It. This is a very, she looks sexy. This is a, she looks beautiful. Um, Yeah, this is, this look is stunning. This look is this, this is a great, she looks beautiful and this look is beautiful. And for her, Kris Jenner is mother. And again, she looks great. Mm-hmm. Jan, Each, Jan is screaming. Jan is dying inside. And then her, um, her, I mean, she doesn't look like Kris Jenner. I do think that Jan looks more like Kris Jenner than she does. Oh, for sure. Um, and then for her last mother, mother father look, uh, bitch, I don't know. If, what? When she walked out with this sorting hat on, I was screaming. I was like, what? A sorting hat. I was, I was like, girl, what? Yeah, I don't love the hat. I don't love the hat. But the but the, but the dress is really cute, though. I think the dress is good. I wish she would have cinched a little bit, though, to give us a little more cacao. But I don't think she got shapewear. I wish she she if, if she would have had shape around, just could have like brought her up to the to the next level. And she took RuPaul's note. RuPaul said, "Show us your ass," and she's like, "Noted." Um, let's go on to Maya Iman LePage. You know, Maya like does a lot where like this entire like from her breast to her chin is just like stuff. It was just such an interesting choice, like why to do that. Like, can't, didn't someone do this already this season, or she wore an outfit like this that did this already, right? Oh, she's frozen. Oh, oh no, he's back! He's back! He's back! Oh my god! Oh my god! She's here! She's here! Um, I, sorry, I missed everything you just said, but I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I was just saying, she did this already this season, right? She had like a green, uh, some some kind of outfit that did this. They blocked her up. It was orange, her instance look. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, this is, this is not a, a stellar look. This is not great. And then she chose to be Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim to her is mother. Um, and, you know, her proportions were a little interesting. 
And I prefer the way that little Kim wears wears her uh, thing as a bolero, and or like just like these these sleeves, and Maya's is like a full piece, you know? Yeah. And then the one she made there, I they were like they had they took umbrage with the fact that the bod the the dress was simple, which I see that it's simple, but she made that little like bolero capelet, uh, uh, long sleeve bolero thing, which I think was cute but overall this is not strong but it's not terrible i mean yeah. I, I think this is, I, if i saw her out in public in this like at the club i'd be like oh hey girl and i wouldn't i wouldn't think myself guys that girl in that hideous fucking dress you know what i mean yeah yeah i'd agree let's go into q the man in the moon i know that one um, I this one. yeah this is a cool look the more i see q the more i realize q is like if you go to like a like a regional theater and they have like insane costumes, and they're like, "Oh, you don't know about Q, our costume designer?" Yeah, yeah. And that person is a drag queen. Yeah, Q looks great. Also, they're so they're so pretty. Like I, I remember watching them in the workroom, and I was like, "Wow, this is like a pretty boy." I'm oh, sorry, a pretty person on a drag. Um, <laughs> put your fucking hand out for your mouth. This is a really Thank cool you. look. This was a Q was really always, cool. Always, Q is always smiling. When they're talking. When Q talks, she's always smiling. Does she? Yes, I've noticed this. She tweeted, no matter what she's talking about, She she's tweeted smiling. something. Dre, Jacob, can you pull up her tweet um, about that she tweeted about like people like reviewing Drag Race? And I was like, oh, who, who she's talking about? Who she's talking about? Who she's talking about? I love it. For Q, mother is Judith Garland. This was, bitch, she turned the corner. I was like, this was stunning i fucking love this it looks like an exact it looks like the, the same fucking dress and she kept on pulling out that cord coming backstage this was one of my favorite looks of the night like this is my second favorite look of the night wow jinx found dead um but this look is great she looks really really good uh she looks really good and her look that she made to be honest i am shocked that q did not win this challenge really Loki. Yeah, I mean, let's discuss when we get to, to Nymphia. Um, but each of these looks is just really... I like this this last look. I love, and I get the hair and stuff. Something about, I think, I get the hair, but I don't like the hair. But I think the construction of this, of this last look is obviously impeccably done. Look at it. And she fucking made that in the workroom in, in probably like 12 hours. This is really well done. I just, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's really hard between the two of them because they were both so good. Let's go into Nymphia Wins. Uh, she is the little boy blue. Love this. And Cunt. this look is great. This is a great look. So fierce. It probably really killed her not to be um, yellow. yellow. <laughs> <laughs> little girl yellow. Um, but yeah, I did not know. Th- I did not know that she loves and it, it's not. It's not weird to me. I was like, I don't know what this she like when I. She, her mother is like Angelina Jolie. That was really shocking to me. Yeah, um, and I will say this looks nothing like the Angelina, Angelina Jolie dress, but the sentiment of like uh, the whole vibe of getting your kids to ride on it, I get it. Um, but I like this gown. I think it's I, I think it's pretty, and I think I didn't like that you could see her corset up in the back though. That part bothered me a little bit, but I think that this is a I, I like to look. And for her mother father look, it is this, it, it's giving, uh, uh, I don't even know how to describe this look. Now, this gives Westwood. People always talk yeah. about, yeah, I'm giving Westwood. This actually looks like Vivian Westwood. Well, I don't know. It's kind of Badu in Westwood. Erica Badu wearing Vivian Westwood. Good. That's because you love Erica's and, and, crazy hat. And cheap, with a cheap pair of shoes. <laughs> I, okay. I was talking to someone, our editor Jay. I liked the shoes of this. What do you think about the shoes? I don't dislike them. But I, I can tell they're cheap, though. But there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, a lot of my shoes, shoes are cheap, too. With what we're doing, to, the way that we ruin our shoes, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I think when she came around the corner, I like I was like, oh, work. Like, I think it was great. I loved, I loved how, how I don't know how, I guess they're, what, maybe piping? Whatever she used to make these ties do that, it just looked... Probably wire. I, think, I don't know that piping would do that, but wire, yeah, wires would. Yeah, piping would be strong enough. Um, yeah, I think she she looks delicious. I love it. Well, it's not that it wouldn't be strong enough, but piping doesn't uh, maintain the shape that you bend it into. Piping tends to 
make things go straight out. Whereas wires, you can like mold them and shape them into things. So it, it could be a clothes hanger. It could be just typical wires. It could, there could be so many things going on in there. Um, it, uh, I think that, I still think that um, uh, what's her name's outfit was better. And I, I would have, uh, package was better. I, I would have given it to Q. So wait, so Joe and Booster tweeted, he said, production deciding not to show us any of the process involved in getting here is so fucking funny. Hours of footage of her trolling the other queens, but not a second to explain how she did that to those ties. And then Q retweeted it and said she honestly really did troll us most of the time and made the majority of it in her hotel room. Sneaky hoe. So she made this all in her hotel room, pretty much. Work. Um, so I just don't understand how Safira Cristal could have possibly packed this pumpkin. It's Bob, it's inflatable. What are you talking about? Oh. But like it's still huge. Yeah, but it probably, it probably shrinks down to it probably is inflatable. Bitch, you never heard of half these fairy tales. Don't even come for me. <laughs> but I heard of Peter and the pumpkin eater. No, it's not. It, have you? It's Peter. Peter Pumpkin Eater. Peter is the pumpkin eater. They're not. It's not Peter and the guy who eats pumpkins. Peter is the pumpkin eater. <laughs> Y'all, have you ever noticed this? When Bob talks, sometimes he. Well, I've said this before. He loves to do this with his hands. Like you're like a, you love you always you I, you do this, or you go this, or you go. Mona, why do you do that? Yeah, whatever, bitch. <laughs> What's the problem you have with me? Let's go. I love this pumpkin look. This pumpkin ear look is really good. I like it a lot, actually. I love her, um, her Mary Sanderson here. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 look is great. And the fact that her body is the root, that's really fucking cool. Yeah. Um and, and I mean the stem is I mean to say. I mean, and, and then uh Sapphira Cristal, her uh her Eve mm-hmm. look is great. I love that she has Adam's uh Vertebrae? No, it's not Adam. That's the snake. She's oh, she's, that's the snake. You're right. Snake You're right. That's why she did say that. She did say that. That's yeah, right. I thought this is good. I th- I think she looks so beautiful. I love that. She, I love these like fucking dreads going down to the floor. That was sickening to me. I think their look that she made there was was like fine. I think the skirt could have been a little bit better, but I do love the I do I do love the cat suit going throughout the whole thing though. Her gait, oh, I, I I I I agree with Isaac Mizrahi. Like I don't know why, but it is giving Wizard of Oz. I mean, it's, it's giving the whiz. I was like, this is a character in the whiz. It's really more so giving the it's, it's really more so giving wicked, in my opinion. Like uh, this is a professor at, this is Professor Adderall's shiz. I never seen it. Also, her gate, her what what is she what is it called? A gate, the way you walk? No, yes, but what is what is her thing called? She's what she's a you be saying I'm doing it, but I don't do it like that. Slew footed. Slew footed. Slew slew footed slew footed. Or is it sleuth footed? Slew. Slew. She's slew footed. It's so funny. Um, up next is Plain Jane as Pussycat by the Fuck. Jacob, can you do a little research? <laughs> Pussycat by the Fuck. So, uh, this is a good look. I like this look. I think I like the hair as the ears. Uh, she looks good. I have no, no notes. She you looks know, really good. As someone who did a cat character on Drag Race and forgot to draw my nose. Every time I see that, I get very jealous. I'm like, good for you. Good for you remembering that nose, girl. Well, you, you still won the season, so, like, you know, you're fine. Yeah. Pussycat uh, sits by the fire. How can she be fair? In walks little dog, says, Pussy, are you there? How do you do, Mistress Pussy? Mistress Pussy, how do you do? I thank you kindly, little dog. I fare well as you. Warm. These poems are not good. <laughs> I could have been Mother Goose, bitch. Mother Goose, I could have been Mother Goose, honey. But right now, I, as they say, I could have wrote, um, I, I could have wrote fucking Pussycat by the Fire, but Mother Goose could have never wrote Purse First. Oh, oh my God. So for her mother, uh, uh, she did um, Octomom, which I thought was very smart and not the way I would think to go. I remember when Octomom, bitch. It was in the news cycle. It was like national news. They talked about it as much as we talk about like the fucking presidential election. It was kind of crazy how obsessed we were with uh, Octomom. And I think this is a cool look. Well, how pregnant she was was insane. Like it was insane how pregnant Octopus. she looked. Yeah. But I don't think this look is good though. 
It's a good idea, but the look is not great. What, what, what else would she have done to be, to be Octomom? I, I wouldn't have chosen Octomom. Like, I don't think this look is good. Like, it's it's not, it's not, it's, for me, it's not, this look is not, this outfit is not funny enough to merit uh, wearing such a plain outfit. Like, it's just a really, literally just a very plain dress with no, a bunch of baby dolls. fully stoned. I don't like it, Monet. I know. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just it, saying. It's not it is a dress. plain dress covered in stones. Like the the dress has no has no interesting dimensions. There's there's nothing about this dress. It's like damn. This is like an ugly okay, dress covered in stones. You hate plain Jane. You you want to fight this boss of bitch so bad. Let me tell you something. So she's, not my, you. she's not my plasma. She's not. I am not. I to do play not Jane hate like you plasma. plasma. I do not hate plasma. I do not hate plasma. Okay. Well, why don't you have it in your body? Why did you have your plasma removed last week? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to play Jay's look that she made there. I thought this was this was I didn't I thought this was a good look. I thought this was cool. I didn't I don't know why these or was it intentional for this to be asymmetric like not the same size or was it has to be it has to be intentional. It's so asymmetrical. It has to be intentional. Or though like or maybe she was making she's like fuck I cut it too big and she couldn't go back. She was like I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. I don't know. It looks good. I like the wig. I like I love this look. This is a great look. Yeah, I agree. This is cool. She looks good. Um, let's go on to Tsunami, who is Humpty Dumpty. She comes out as a big, uh, as w- kind of what looks like a, uh, what do you call those fancy eggs? A Fabergé. A Fabergé egg. And then she becomes a little sunny side up on it. This was so um, cool. So fucking cool. Is, yeah. I loved it. I don't like the shoe. I don't like the shoe, though. The shoe was a little clunky and very big, but like this fucking egg with the little hands and it has like a little mermaid at the bottom. That shit, I was like, this is so well done. This is so good. I loved it. I agree. It's a really cute look. And then for Mother, she literally did her drag mother, Ms. Candy, Candy Muse. And she did a remake of Candy's entrance look. Who, who do you like better, Candy's or, or, or Zanami's? Candy's. Candy looked way better in her look, to be honest. That's no shade. Yeah, I, I like Candy's too, but I, I do like Tsunami's, but I, I think Candy, you know, looks great. And then Tsunami's final look, uh, she kind of looks like... Uh, I see it too, but I don't know the name. You're going to say, I'm gonna be like, oh, yes. It's I, like some rapper. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Oh, oh, Sexy Red. Is she Sexy Red? <laughs> That's a sexy ribbon with the glasses. Um, let me see. Is she, is she giving sexy red? Oh my gosh, she is sexy red. <laughs> <laughs> sexy red. Um, yeah, this, this look is fine, but she she looks good. This is this is solidly middle of the road. Now let's go on to Monet's uh, sleep paralysis okay. demon. This was Plastic. the dumbest. I still don't even understand. Once you turn around, I still don't uh, uh, even understand what the fuck I was looking at. Oh, now I see it. Now I'm looking at the still. They're stacked on top of each other. Yeah, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. This was a bad look. She came out. I was like, this is... Uh, also, do you know who she looks like when she's sitting down in the thing, Bob? I was like, oh my God. Who? Holly Box Springs. No. Yes. No. Yeah, she was like Holly no, Boxer for sure. Ranks. This is um, a good look. But, I hated this. You know, it, it was not very well executed. I will say that it, this was not executed very well. They could have, they could have, her and her team could have done a little better. Let's go into her M and and boiling look and boiling look. This is great. Um, yeah, this looks good. She this looks is really, really good. it looks really well made. She looked good. I, 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 I mean, can who's who, who's Anne Boleyn again? What did she do? I don't know. She, she's is. one of King Henry VIII's wives. She was the second oh, one. The one that got beheaded. Did, yeah. No, she got beheaded. Well, no, she got beheaded. She, she was she was one of the ones who got beheaded, but she... Wasn't it beheaded, 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 she died, beheaded, beheaded, survived? Um, I, I forget. Um, I think she got... If she was, if she was second, she got beheaded. No. She Divorced, didn't. beheaded, died... Uh, divorced, beheaded, it's survived. Be wedded, beheaded, she died. Be That's wedded, my beheaded, knowledge of sixth musical. But she was 100% beheaded. Right? Girl, she's frozen. Oh, Bob froze. <laughs> I have been talking to her. I was like, you were explaining it. I was like, wow, Bob is being quiet. Really? This is, wow. I was very impressed uh, with how, of, of, of him listening to you. Oh, my God. I'm going to find out. King Henry. Beheaded, beheaded, she died. Oh, you're back. 
Come back, yeah. I, it's, I, it's divorce, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, we survived. Tried. What we did, be, to make it easy to remember, is be, be wedded, beheaded, she, she died, be wedded, beheaded, survived. Anyway. Um, um, yeah, good. But we're yeah, going what, off the musical I, six, the hit musical six, and the, the, that's divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. <laughs> yeah, Jacob. We yeah, don't do that anymore. We don't do whatever you're doing. We're, we're doing six. So her, her look that she made there is, is uh, kind of ugly. Yeah, it looks like what Miranda Priestly would not wear to the thing at the end of the Devil Wears Prada. This is not great. Yeah, it's not great. Um, let's go on. That's it, and we're done. Um, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite out of all of them? Who's your who has the best package? It was between Q and Nymphia, but I think I just was so so so. I love Little Boy Blue. So I don't know. I love Judy Girl. Okay, so my top look is Nymphia's construction look there. My second favorite look was Q's Judy Garland look. Like, bitch, Q, if you're listening to this, I will, I don't know how big or tall or short or whatever. I will buy this dress from you. I want this gown. It looks so good. Um legitimately, I will legitimately legitimately buy it from you. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna do you, do you think Q's a hard up for money? No, it's but I would buy it. But I don't. I, just like Lucy Laduca is sending me that that duster I like. She's like, oh yeah, girl. Like I got it from Lucy. I w- I want this. I want this dress. Like, yeah, I want to wear it. You need to pay a hefty price. You need to pay a hefty yeah, price. How about you pay my hefty you, dick on your forehead? Let me let me slap my hefty me. dick on your chin, motherfucker. You reach out to me because you will need someone to advocate for you to make sure you're not being taken advantage of by the royal elite of Saint Lucia, honey. <laughs> anyway, been pulling this trick for a long time, honey. So just make sure you reach out to me first. So that being said, because it's what you had, I think, in my opinion, for these ball challenges, the one you have to w- make there is a, I weigh that a little more. I'm going to go with Nymphia. But Q was like a very close second for me. I would say Q was my favorite one. And, and I think that the worst package of the evening was, unfortunately, uh, Geneva Carr. Really? You think Geneva had the worst package, Bob? I'm looking through them all, and Geneva had a pretty bad package. Like, I'm trying to see who else had a. Oh, like I'm looking at, yeah, Geneva had the worst package. Like, who do you think had the worst package? Maya. Well, the one th- what Amanda made there is not great, and Michelle was not great, and the first one was like, I kind of uh, okay, Amanda Geneva. First two looks, I would give those the same. I would those are equal for me. Second looks, and what was what was um Geneva's second look? Oh, the summer high. Yeah, that was pretty rotted. Um. Yeah, I, I would. I would. I would have put Amanda and Geneva in the bottom. I would have. I would not have put Hershey Lacour in the bottom. I would not have either. Her first look was incredible, and her second look was. Well, I her second look was good too. Yeah, it was. Hershey should not have been in the bottom. Amanda and Geneva should have been in the bottom. Period. One hundred percent. What do you think? Um, I would have put. Uh, I would keep Geneva in the bottom, and I would not put Amanda down there. I would have put uh, probably Maya down there or oh um maya. or maybe d d d d d d d yeah maya yeah you know what i think you're right you know uh, i don't know i don't know jeff and geneva though we all agree geneva's actually so let's just keep it going so we find out that the winner of this week's challenge is nymphia win nymphia wins wins um and the two bottom queens are geneva and hershey lacour and they lips and feel life to an ava max song and uh, Geneva stays and Hershey Shantae's away. I know, you Hershey LaCour Jantae's the first queen of season 16 that we're seeing going home. And like, what's, you know, again, we're going to get, when we do Untucked, guys, but it was just so, hearing her story and how heartwarming and like her kids and how much she had to sacrifice to get here and just even hearing offline, like um Heidi like let her borrow some stuff like a lot of queens like helped her out to get her so it's kind of sad to see her gone Heidi that's the problem oh my god and I don't think she should have went home I don't think she should have been at the bottom and her should look crazy <laughs> what what are you laughing at I'm just laughing at myself being silly about Heidi Heidi I love you girl I'm just I'm um but yeah and then uh 13 queens remain all right, who's gonna win? Um, who's gonna win uh, season sixteen? 
Well, I don't know. I I'm, I can I I can't assess that yet. Next week after I see your comedic acting whatever chops, then I can make a better assessment because someone might. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 morphine might be the fucking Selma Hayek of, of drag. She might come out here and fucking kill it. Who knows? Who's going home next? Going home next? Yeah, we're making we're making predictions out here in these streets, honey. Okay. Only because of the preview, I'm thinking Tsunami might be in danger of going home. I think the same. Low key, it is it is not Tsunami season. <laughs> it's funny. It is not tsunami season. All right. Thank you all for joining us. As you all know, we will be reviewing Untucked exclusively on our Patreon. Patreon. Um, so thank you all for joining us. Bye, everyone. Bye.